The next law we're going to talk about is Emma Murray. And this is the Florida law regarding workers' compensation. And I really struggled with how to present this because the law has gone back and forth like a pendulum. So finally I said, well, I'll use a pendulum because that, maybe that'll make it easy. And the pendulum started way over here before 2003 on a per hour basis. What the law said prior to 2003 was if you were a prevailing claimant in a workers' comp case and you could show that the workers' comp insurance carrier improperly denied a claim and that claim should have been paid, then your lawyer would be paid a reasonable hourly fee. So before 2003, low, um, low recovery cases could still end up with high attorney fee amounts. So we were, before 2003, premiums were high, claims were high, and employers were getting pummeled with a lot of claims that may have very low value that insurance companies had denied, and therefore um, claimant lawyers were receiving a high hourly wage. Well, in 2003, the Florida legislature responded, and the pendulum swung all the way over here. And what the Florida legislature said is that regardless of the number of hours that go into a workers' comp claim, all the plaintiff's lawyer, the claimant's lawyer can receive is a percentage of benefits. Well, the problem with this structure, even though it lowered premiums, it also lowered claims. And it meant that if a, if a claimant had a legitimate injury and that was wrongfully denied by a workers' comp carrier, regardless of how many hours it took the lawyer to prove that the claim should have been paid, the lawyer would only be receiving a percentage of the recovery. And if the recovery was low, say the procedure was not very expensive and the damages were small, well, that meant that claimants' lawyers simply couldn't afford to take cases. So the pendulum swung all the way over here, and legitimate claims weren't being paid. So it was good for employers because premiums went down and claims went down, but it was bad for those people with legitimate claims where the claims were being denied. Well, so the pendulum swung over here, again, after a case called Emma Murray. And what happened was Miss Murray was employed by Mariner Health. And she had two health conditions, and they wouldn't necessarily seem to be related to work. One was a prolapsed uterus, and one was a back problem. And the workers' comp carrier looked at her claim and reasonably said, well, I don't see how a prolapsed uterus is related to a work injury. Therefore, we're going to deny the claim. And the case went all the way up to the Florida Supreme Court. And the Florida Supreme Court said, looking at the medical testimony, looking at uh, the depositions and the expert witnesses, and said, this injury was related to work, and the claim should have been paid. It wasn't paid. Therefore, the, pl the claimant's lawyer, Ms. Murray, is entitled to a percentage of recovery. But the problem was, under this statute, that lawyer was paid about $8 an hour. And the Supreme Court said, that's not reasonable. Lawyers can't be expected to take cases when they're only going to make $8 an hour or even take a loss. They didn't address the access to courts issue, which is where I thought it would come down. But they came down with, um, with a ruling that said the 2003 is constitutional. So the pendulum went all the way from over here where it's back over here now. And I'm sure everybody in this room who's looked at their workers' comp rates lately knows what I'm talking about when I say that they've shot through the roof recently. And so the legislature, as recently as last week, is trying to swing the pendulum back. But I'm not exactly sure where it's going to land, because we all know how laws get changed through the legislative process. But as recently as last week, the legislature in Florida drafted a bill. It went through the House, and it's currently it's got a Senate companion that's currently going through the Senate that tried to clarify the attorney fee statute so that there's some balance between having claims that have merit paid and having a reasonable attorney's fees that would encourage claimants lawyers to take claims that do have merit. So the pendulum is swinging back and forth and I hope that they land somewhere in the middle, but we'll have to see what happens. If you have an opinion on this issue, I would highly suggest that you look at the Senate bill and the House bill and the, the numbers are in your materials that we've referenced and as are your legislators' um, emails and addresses. And let them know what your opinion is so that they can know how to vote because they're going to be moving through the House and the Senate.